I support House Bill 1739. I'm still choked up. My name is Michael Andrade. I am speaking on the behalf of myself. I am here with my wife, Crystal. We have come up from San Antonio because we were treated unfairly by all state. I support House Bill 1739. I am an aircraft composite technician engineer. I work on custom interiors for privately owned jets. I've been in the aircraft business for 35 years. I've been sent around the world by, by the company I work for as a troubleshooter to find and fix issues on aircrafts. After the accident, because of my medical issues, I was no longer allowed to leave the country because of doctor's appointments, which led to me to lose my job. I could no longer fulfill my work obligations. On September 9th, 2014, I was involved in a motorcycle accident. An un underinsured car driver at the time of uh, at the time of the accident, I was covered by an underinsured policy with Allstate in the amount of $30,000. On January 29, 2016, we tried to settle with the insurance companies. Two settlement demands were sent at the same time, one to the other driver's insurance company, request that they paid the insurance policy limits of $30,000, and one to Allstate, my insurance company, requesting they pay the insurance policy limited limits of $30,000. At the time of the accident, to settle my medical bills were approximately $32,000. My lost income was $30,000. My recommended back surgery was over $400,000. And I suffered a life-changing pain on March 7, 2016, 38 days later, the other insurance driver, the other driver's insurance company, after reviewing my evidence, agreed to settle the claim for $30,000 policy limit. Allstate, my insurance company, had a different response that surprised me. At first, they refused to make an offer and ask for many things they already had. When they offered $1,500, Allstate said it would ex I could accept $1,500 or go through trial. Allstate, made, Allstate said many people would rather take the money than go through trial. I did not feel that was fair. I had insurance with Allstate for a long time. I had paid extra to have underinsured coverage to protect me and my family. I expected to be in good hands with Allstate <laughs> and for them to protect me. I had been, I had not been in any previous wrecks. I have never made a bodily injury claim or underinsured claim. I have never filed a lawsuit. I decided to, to do what was right. Almost two and a half years later, in November 2019, my case went to trial. We spent four long days in court. I missed four weeks of work. A jury heard the evidence and came with the verdict of $2.5 million. By that time, my lost income of about $30,000 had increased and was determined by the jury to be 111000 After the trial, Allstate sent the check 
for $30,000. I learned from this process and my attorney that in San Antonio and surrounding areas, all state will not make fair offers for uninsured claims, underinsured claims. All state believes that it's worth worst case scenario in case like cases like mine is regardless of how unfair the claim handling handling process is all state will have to pay at most the policy limit in fact during trial i heard that it was represented that all state valued my case in the hundreds of thousands of dollars but that it felt that they were they were not required to pay anything until the jury verdict was obtained. By delaying payment, paying the claim, Allstate forced me to delay being able to afford to get surgery on my back, forced me to lose income of the amount of $81,000 I am not a lawyer. I do not understand all the language in House Bill 1739, but it is my understanding that it would require all state to treat people like me more fairly. If they do not, then all state could be required to pay more than just the policy limits and also to pay attorney's fees. I'm asking for your help so that this does not happen to other people and to deter all state and insurance companies like it from playing games with the lives of people who are suffering and struggle, struggling with injuries and pain after the accidents. Thank you, Mr. Andrade. I appreciate you uh, participating in this process and sharing your personal story. Members, are there any questions? Mr. Representative Lambert. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for coming today and for uh, giving us your story. I just wanted to ask you, did you have to come out of your own pocket with attorney's fees? Yes, I did. Thank you so much, sir.